In Pali, there's a verb, sikati, which means both to study and to train. This is what we do with the Buddhist teachings. We study them and we train ourselves in them. In Thai, they've adopted the word sikati, siksa, which means to study, as you study in an educational system. When we come to Buddhism, we think, well, I've already got an education. But you have to understand that the Buddha's education is going to be different from the education you get from the, as a child, as a teenager, even as a young adult. It's not so much giving you information, but it's also helping you to build character, qualities of truthfulness, harm, harmlessness, integrity, gratitude. These are things we need in order to survive in this world. And the word survive it doesn't mean just the brute survival of the body, but to survive as human beings, to maintain our human status, not get pulled down by the ways of the world. Which is why when you're looking for a teacher, you want someone who is truthful and harmless. Someone who wouldn't lie about their knowledge, someone who wouldn't try to get you to do things that were not in your best interest. And someone who really knows the way to put an end to suffering. Those are the things you're going to have to develop in yourself. So as you're sitting here meditating, you may not be getting much information, but you're learning an awful lot about integrity and determination and persistence. All of which are good qualities. And at the times when it gets difficult and you don't feel like doing it, you think of all the effort that went into finding this Dharma to begin with, all that the Buddha had to do, and all that the various Sajans over the centuries have had to do to keep it alive. And you have a sense of gratitude. They didn't pass it around or pass it down simply so that you could. Say, I don't feel like it today, I'm going to stop. They put extra effort in, and so you should put extra effort in as well. If education were just a matter of information, what we need, what we would, need would be the internet, because there's lots of information out there. But we need principles in knowing how to use the information we gain in a way that doesn't harm us, doesn't harm anybody else. And that's where the qualities of the character come in. So think about this as you're meditating. There are times when you're not getting the peace of mind you want, but you are developing other qualities that are just as important. Persistence, endurance, determination, gratitude, integrity. These are all reasons to stick with it. And in sticking with it, you grow as a person. You lift the level of your mind. And when you complete this education, it's not, you won't get any diplomas. But you will find the ultimate happiness. That's what the Buddha and all the, the great Arahants have promised. This is what they did. If you follow their path, you'll get the same results that they did. So appreciate the qualities of character that you're building, even on days when the meditation seems to be hitting a wall, or hitting a plateau, or going down. There are other good qualities that you're developing in the meantime, and they're all to the good.